Saudi Aramco, that IPO in focus, the government maintains that it's on track in terms of listing in 2018. Uh, now, the CEO of the pan-European stock exchange, Euronext, uh, they're not in contention for the IPO, but it was still good to get some perspective on what they make of the process and also the MIFID II rules, right? So he thinks that they will be favorable to markets. He is convinced it's going to improve transparency. Take a listen to what Stefan Bujna told me in the last few hours. Well, first of all, going public, going through the IPO process is complicated and is big, big move even for a small company. So you can imagine when a very big company, which is so significant for the wealth of, of the country overall, is going through that process, it's normal that some compromises take time to be, to be defined. It's a very large company, it's a very particular company, therefore it's normal that the IPO process takes longer and it's normal that the IPO process is, is a particular one. So uh, it's up to the, 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 the individuals and the various constituencies around the situation to, to try and define uh, uh, the, the right compromise. But it definitely cannot be one more IPO. It, it's a different, it's a one of its kind. Does it strike you as unfair that uh, the UK might be bending some of its rules to allow for that IPO over there? I have no comment on that point. I mean, it's up to, to the UK regulators and the, the London Stock Exchange to try and define uh, what are the best uh, conditions they want to offer to that particular IPO. Just like, I guess, any other exchange that would want to welcome Aramco will have to, 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 to make the, form the same decision. A large company uh, creates um, um, a larger uh, uh, set of issues to be addressed. Some of your European rivals, they're in flux. Uh, how can you capitalize on that and at the same time make your exchange uh, more f friendly as well to potential investors? Well, I guess we are relatively friendly to, for investors because uh, Euronext in its current form was IPO'd in, uh, in, um, in June 2014 mm -hmm. at 20 euro per shares. Uh, today uh, the stock price is at 53 euro per shares without any material uh, change of the perimeter. So um, we, we have been relatively successful so far. We have a clear strategy that uh, we have announced in, in May 16. We have a clear expansion plans whereby we want to, to diversify our top line and to open our federal model. So uh, we are trying to deliver quarter after quarter what, what we said we were going to deliver. The other major change is going to be the MIFID rules. Uh, what's the impact going to be on, on liquidity and transparency? Uh, where do you see that going? How effective is it going to be really? Fundamentally, MIFID 1 was about opening market infrastructures and capital markets to competition. MIFID 2 is about increasing transparency. So anything that uh, uh, um, favors transparency requirements is, uh, is going to be favorable to, uh, to lead markets. And we, as a regulated market, are a particularly lead market.